lovelies and studlies. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Halloween centerpiece. Now if you don't want to watch every single craft, I'll have links in the description down below that will take you to each one specifically. I had so much fun making this Halloween centerpiece and I think it is the perfect way to start getting into that Halloween spirit. So without further ado, let's go! Trash bag spider webs. For this one, all you're going to need is a plain white or black trash bag. The cheapest one you can find will work perfect. And an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors. Then you're going to want to cut off all of the edges to the trash bag. You're also going to want to cut off the top to get rid of any drawstrings or tabs. Now that you've removed all of the edges, you should be left with two sheets of plastic. Take one of these sheets and cut it into a square. Eyeballing it will work just fine. Then fold your square of plastic diagonally to create a triangle, trimming as needed. Then fold this triangle in half two more times. Because plastic can be so slippery, put some tape on the edge to keep it from sliding around while you're cutting. Now you're ready to begin creating your spider web. You can start out by creating a sharpie outline if you prefer, or you can do what I did and just do it freehand. For the design, you're going to want to think of something like a rib cage. One center line going from the bottom corner to the top center and then have almost branches coming off of that center line. Finally, just remove any leftover tape, spread it out, and you have your spider web. Spider vase. For this one you need a glue gun, a vase, some black spray paint, a fake spider, and a sharpie. Firstly, no, I have not caught the bubonic plague, I've just already spray painted some at this point. But what you're going to want to start with is your vase and your sharpie, and then take your sharpie and draw the outline of your spider web onto your vase. After finishing your outline, you're going to want to go over all of the Sharpie with the hot glue. After you finish doing the hot glue outline of your spider web, go outside and cover the entire thing in black spray paint. This step is optional. If you prefer just the black spray paint over the hot glue, you're more than welcome to leave it like that. But I wanted to make it pop a little bit more, so I took some white acrylic paint and just lightly painted over the hot glue. Last but not least, hot glue your spider onto your vase. The Eyeball Bouquet To create this gruesome bouquet, you're going to want to start off with some fake florals, specifically red roses, which we're going to touch up with some black spray paint.
If you got any other florals for your bouquet, do the same thing with them. Now you should be left with some ghastly looking florals. To add the eyeballs, you're just going to need your fake craft store eyeballs, your flowers that you just spray painted, and a hot glue gun. Trim off all of your roses so that you can arrange them however you'd like to in your vase. Pick out the roses you're going to add the eyeballs to and then cut out a section of the petals in the center. Pick out one of your fake eyeballs, put hot glue all over the back and then you're just going to stick it right in the center where you cut out the petals just a moment ago. Repeat this process as many times as you would like and then you're going to take all of your beautiful eyeball roses and arrange them in with the other florals into your spider vase. Crystal balls and bleeding candles. For this craft you're going to need a small white pillar candle as well as a round candle holder. To give your crystal ball that smoky look, you're going to want to hold the glass up to the side of the flame. This process will cause the glass candle holder to get quite hot after a while, so if you're making more than one, you can rotate them or take a break and let your first one cool down. Now that your crystal ball is nice and smoky, you're going to want to take a hot glue gun and hot glue the pillar candle on top of the candle holder. Now that you've attached your crystal ball and your pillar candle, what you're going to need next is a red crayon and a lighter. Use the lighter to melt the crayon right onto the edge of the candle, letting it drip down. Now that you've finished, you can stick any ghastly creation inside of the crystal ball you'd like. Floating candles. For this craft, you're going to need some leftover paper towel or toilet paper rolls, as well as some cheap electronic tea lights, hot glue, and fishing line. Take one of the rolls. And what you're going to want to do is hot glue the top to make it look like a dripping candle. Now that the hot glue is dried, we're going to take some white acrylic paint and paint over the glue as well as the roll to make it all look like one big candle. Once the glue is dried, you're going to poke holes onto either side of the toilet paper roll and stick the clear fishing wire through the holes. This will help you hang them from the ceiling as well as keep the tea lights in place. This guy I didn't make myself but I fell in love with him. I thought he was absolutely gruesome. Okay, so we have our bloody pillar candles right here on top of our crystal balls. So I'm super proud of those. I think they came out really, really well. We have our spiderweb trash bags laid out underneath everything. And we've got our spider vase. 
black with the spider web in there and the little spider. And then we have those black flowers right here, the black roses with the eyeballs in them. I think these came out really very, very creepy and I love them. See the whole thing all together and then So all in all, I'm super happy with how everything turned out. I think it all went really, really well and it is a great start to my Halloween decorations for this year. I really hope you guys liked this week's craft video, my Halloween centerpiece. I'm super happy with it and I'm really proud of the way it turned out. I think it's a great start to decorating for Halloween and I'm super happy with it and it is absolutely gruesome, which is wonderful. I think it looks really, really cool and yeah. So I hope you guys learned something. If there's something you want to go back to or rewatch to do it with me, you can click on this timestamp in the description below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and I will most certainly show you the rest of my Halloween decorating for the season. And after that, we're going to move on into fall and then Christmas. So, if you decided to make any of these crafts, just tweet me at BrittanyBTV. I would absolutely love to see them and see what you came up with to put your own little twist on it. I'll have a link in the description down below from all of the different blogs that I took ideas from for this specific piece. Then give a little love tap to that thumbs up button, show me some love. And then if you'd like to see more of me, I upload a video every Tuesday and every Friday. So hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos if you're interested. And I really hope you guys like it so I can show you the rest of what I make. I'm super happy with it and I can't wait to do some more Halloween crafts. Bye!